Hey, let's play charades real quick. Who am I? I stopped to get my gun on my book set. No. <laughs> but nah, real talk though. Uh, I bet y'all can't guess who that is. That shit funny. But what up YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about why the government is trying so hard to disrupt the love frequency of the planet. Now, uh, this is a very important topic, you know finna break some shit down in this video now okay like I told you there's a lot of violence being showed all over the media acronym for media multi-ethnic destruction in America manic European devils in action <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, it's crazy because like I said, there's evil on the planet, there's good on the planet, right? Because without either one of them, the other one couldn't exist. So if it's all this hate, 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 there wouldn't be no love. You see what I'm saying? If it's all this love, let's 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 sing kumbaya and all that. If it's all this love on the planet, it wouldn't be no hate. You see what I'm saying? So it has to be one. You know what I'm saying? It has to be both. You know what I'm saying? But it's just one is glorified more than the other. I'm saying hate is more glorified than love is. That's just that's a fact. That's a proven fact. But the thing about it is, the government is trying so hard to disrupt the love frequency because they know that love is the key. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. Love is the key. So they have to show you hate. They have to show you evil. To disrupt that love frequency because if everybody because a lot of people like i say the most high forces us to see things a lot of people is starting to change you know what i'm saying real talk a lot of evil people they start to turn good and a lot of good people starting to turn evil that's just fact like just fact from what i see so it's basically like that's why you got the government out here they doing all the crimes don't get me wrong it's people out here regular people doing crimes of course but the government is out here hiring people to do crimes so they can disrupt the love frequency. So they can get you riled up and get you angry. Like I say, example, like I say, all these false flags and all that shit. Don't get me wrong. They do have crisis actors and all that. It's a movie they showed us in, in high school and uh, history class. I forgot the fucking name. But they was talking about how the White House, some real shit will go down. And they going to spend the whole media and hire crisis actors to throw you off that. So you won't even know that's going on you see what i'm saying that's what's going on now so basically let's say for example a real shooting happened let's say like motherfuckers really get the shooting motherfuckers like real no crisis actors nothing some shit really happened some people just shooting the government will exploit that and flip it around real talk what what do you mean by that the government will take that and exploit that so that means that real shooting that happened they're gonna put it everywhere all over the media watch out don't go outside it's a lot of shootings going on, blah, blah, blah. They exploit that. They're going to keep doing it, keep doing it. Now, people in fear, fear is going to disrupt the love frequency. So, you so scared, your chakra level, your love frequency just went down. So, when your DNA is supposed to evolve, it just stagnated, still, stuck, dead. Because you so scared. And they're going to take that and they're going to use it. They're going to use it to their example. They're going to use it to their advantage. So, that real shooting that happened, they, gonna, they know people scared now, right? A week later. Some more shit gonna happen. My well, gonna think that's real, but that's really staged. See how they gonna get you again, and then they gonna get you again. Some shit gonna really happen. Motherfuckers gonna think somebody gonna expose that stage shooting. Oh, that shit ain't real. And it actually happened to be real. You see how they get you? But the government is out here doing all these crimes. I said the government is doing 90% of these crimes, like in Chicago. Real talk. I wasn't going to break this down, but fuck it. I'm just going to expose all this shit. Chicago, you got trains full of military-grade weapons. Not even military, motherfucking special op-grade weapons. Shit, you can get on Call of Duty. You know Call of Duty, how you can... You know how Call of Duty, how you can put the motherfucking double clip. You put the motherfucking... What's that shit called? Damn, what's that shit called? It ain't no motherfucking handle... The grip, yeah, you put that grip on your gun so it won't recoil. All that motherfucking dual mags, motherfucking uh, what's that shit called? Reticule sights, all that, all that. They got these trains stopping in 
impoverished areas full of military grade weapons, special op, special op grade weapons, CIA type of shit, men in black type of weapons, stopping trains to stop it in impoverished areas where they know it's a lot of gang violence. So think about it. Who the fuck can be behind that? Ain't no black motherfuckers got no control over no uh no motherfucking military weapons. Ain't no black motherfuckers got control over no over no train or nothing like that. So who who could be doing that? Zing, even the monkey could figure that out. They do it on purpose. They know cause Chicago motherfuckers be beefing with each other. That's right there. Blocks. You right across the street from the motherfucker you went to it with. And a train full of military grade weapons just so happen to stop in your neighborhood. Crime rate go up. But then that's another thing. If motherfuckers not beefing, not even just in Chicago, but um I'm saying mainly in Chicago, but not in just Chicago, any state. Motherfuckers not killing each other or motherfuckers not committing crimes. The police will go out there, dress up like gang members. That's why they, they say the uh, hip-hop police, that shit real. Hip-hop police, where they be watching all the rappers' videos, and that's how niggas be incriminating themselves. Motherfuckers posting pictures of guns and shit. The hip-hop police watching that. Hip-hop Illuminati, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Boule, whatever. They watching that. They know, what, they know what's in the trends, because they create the trends. Yeah, it's called a think tank. What's a think tank? Where they get these... They could be any color. I mean, they could be any uh, nationality. White, black, Arabian, motherfucking Egyptian. They, they could be anything. But they get these people. They uh, take a test. Whatever the test is, they score well, IQ test. They take an IQ test. See how smart they is. Their IQ is average or, you know, above average. They put them in a, a think tank. What's a think tank? Where they let them smoke weed, smoke cigarettes, or whatever drug they like to do to get their mind thinking. A think tank. They just think about a whole bunch of shit to come up with, to throw the people off with. That's how they come up with trends and think tanks. Real shit. They get high as fuck. They be like, damn, that'd be a dope ass trend. Hurry up and write it down. You know what I'm saying? Did they apply it? Real talk. Because they got control over the media. They know whatever they push out, motherfuckers gonna follow. So they know what all the rappers wear. All oh, niggas rocking ball mains. Niggas rocking shoes. Balenciagas. Margellas. Motherfucking police. They gonna dress up like the gang members, rocking Balenciagas, Gucci belts, all type of shit, right? And you gonna think that's a gang member? Hold on, that's the police. They shoot motherfucking innocent people for no reason. Why? Cause if there ain't no crime going on, they gonna commit a crime. Cause if there ain't no crime going on, the police gonna they gonna create a, a crime. They gonna create a shooting, a raping, motherfucking robbery. They gonna they gonna stage all that shit. Because without the police. I mean, without no crime, we don't need the police. Think about it. We really, we really don't. Without the crime, without no crime, we don't need the police. The people, you know what I'm saying, taxpayers, they pay the police. So, if ain't no crime, the fuck is we need the police for? So, they're going to create incidents. Dress up like gang members, shoot innocent motherfuckers, shoot kids, women that's pregnant, all type of shit. Motherfuckers going to be like, oh my God, that's so gruesome. Staged events, false flag. That's how they get you. Then they dropping military type guns in impoverished neighborhoods. So motherfuckers can kill each other. Come on, man. It's all staged, bro. Just like with the drugs. They say, stop the war on terror. In elementary school, they used to always say that. Stop the war on terror. They're not talking about the drug war. Because we know who brings the drugs in here. Think about it. Crack came out 1982 1983 right real talk i know this fact you know some people who was alive in that era telling me about this crack came out 1982 1983 ain't no black motherfucker i think it was a black person that created crack i'm not sure but i'm saying on a mass scale how they get this shit in now ain't no black motherfuckers bringing this shit in america come on man the government bringing this shit in america and then they get the motherfucking uh, informants, put them on certain gang members that they know that's going to sell out. You know what I'm saying? They get them just like how they broke up the Black Panthers. They gave them a million dollars in crack. Fucked them all up. You know, motherfuckers fiending for that shit. Motherfuckers tweaking and shit. You know, stuttering and shit. They know they want that fix. So they're going to do whatever they can to get that fix. You see what I'm saying? So they're going to sell out all their people. And when they do that, you see what I'm saying? That's how they infiltrate motherfuckers. Ain't no black motherfuckers bringing that shit in. So they, they gonna give you, they gonna put the drugs in your community. 
get certain motherfuckers that's willing to sell out, that's a part of gangs or whatever, the head honchos, whatever, they gonna get them motherfuckers to sell out. They gonna, like, there's some new shit on this. Them. Like I said, the police gonna dress up like gang members, set up a meeting, set up a deal. Hey, yeah, we got this new shit on deck. They gonna get one day, little lad rap to test it. Like, you ever seen the movie, uh, South Central, when dude was smoking PCP? <laughs> yeah, bro. Tweaking and shit, shaking and shit. You see what I'm saying? They get people like that. So they gonna bring the drugs in your community, drop the guns in your community, put all this shit in your community at your fingertips. Then, when they catch you selling the shit that they brought in, that they gave to you, they gonna arrest you for it, confiscate it from you, take it, put that shit right back on the street, so they can do it all over again in different communities. S same cycle, gentr gentrification. Just like they moving all the motherfuckers out the city, in Chicago, this happening in other states, states too. But I was picking on Chicago, because that's where I'm from. They doing it all the motherfuckers in the city, and they moving to the suburbs, right? So that's why you hear all these shooters going on in the suburbs, all these robberies, carjackings, all, that, all these motherfuckers move from the city. They trying to take the city back and give it to all them rich doctors and all them rich white motherfuckers. This is fact. See what I'm saying? And they doing all this shit. You see what I'm saying? And they trying to confuse motherfuckers. So, it's like, motherfuckers think it's all this gang violence going on, but whole time, that ain't nothing but the police and the CIA doing that shit, just dressing up like gang members, because they know what motherfuckers like. They watching, they know, oh, give me some ball man, some Balenciagas, you know what I'm saying, get some dreads, you know what I'm saying, get some face tattoo, yeah, nigga, what's good, you know? Come on, man. And then, boom, that's how they get you. So, they doing all this shit, and they say, like I said, going back to what I said, they say, stop the war on terror. Nigga, they're not talking about terrorists. Because the, the domestic terrorists is in America. Your politicians is the, the domestic terrorists. When they say stop the war on terror, the war on terror is the spiritual that's going on in the fifth dimension. What is terror? Hmm. Terror is the twin earth. Break the damn up, man. This is real. I mean, I can break this shit down. You need an Oreo? <laughs> that shit funny, though. But, uh. Like, shit, I'm telling you, this is real. Like, man, they doing this shit. And I'm going in so much that I forgot the fuck with this <laughs> title of this video, man. But real shit, man. This shit real, man. Like, and then what else? Hmm, let me see. Like I said, they will, they will do that. They will exploit shit like that. You see what I'm saying? So if it ain't no crime, they're going to commit a crime. They knew what the fuck was going on. Like, Tupac, he knew what the fuck was going on. All I see is niggas dying fast. Speed up 2017. Niggas dying fast. Just like Professor Griff said. He said, man, man, Tay Tay, Re Re Twine and them. Yo kids, yo kids, yo nephew, yo niece. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Gonna be wearing purses, skirts and shit. Rompers and shit. Niggas talk about they want a romper. Nigga, use a faggot. That shit gay as fuck. Real shit. And motherfuckers, that's a hate crime. No, what the fuck you doing is a hate crime. Like, well, that's what I don't understand about America. See, America is the home of sick shit. Sodom and Gomorrah. Real shit. Modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Like I say, shout out Badass, I love y'all. Follow New Vegas, follow out four, follow out three, whatever. I'm telling you, man. Oh yeah, the evil the evil within, all that shit. That shit go in. But but that's to know what the fuck they doing, I'm telling you. But like on Fall Out New Vegas, the Gomorrah. What is the Gomorrah? Casino. The casino, they doing all type of sick shit like Sodom and Gomorrah. Every time I go in that bitch, I get my luck up to the to number ten, I get my luck up to ten. I go in and gamble, you know what I'm saying? The Gamora and fall out New Vegas. Take all their money out the casinos. I go shoot that bitch up. Real talk. Shoot that bitch up. I'm trying to tell you, we don't fuck with the Gamora over here. But I'm just saying, man, wake the damn up. These is real messengers. I'm going in so hard, I forgot what the fuck this video is about. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But real talk, man, like, everything I'm saying is a fact. Like, it's a fact, man. They doing this shit. But, man. Motherfuckers think it's a game, think it's a joke. But you can see it. That's if you have eyes to see and ears to hear. Wake the damn up.